Let's talk about um, how the uh, Islamic councils uh, were caught red-handed trying to invite and platform a spokesperson for the Taliban, Caroline. James Morrow, mm. of course, uh, talked about it on this show, had it in the paper today. Unbelievable that any Australian group would be trying to offer a perspective to those people who, of course, remember, were the murderous regime shooting back at Australian soldiers and killed more than 40 of them in Afghanistan. Here's what the New South Wales Premier had to say about the event that has now been cancelled. And I'm incredibly concerned by it. I immediately contacted our multicultural minister, Jeff Lee, and asked him to reach out to the Islamic Council in relation to um, that event. And I think there'd be a lot of people today who have served in Afghanistan or have had loved ones who, have, who were lost fighting in Afghanistan would be deeply shocked and saddened um, to see that report today. And Phil Thompson, who did serve Australia in Afghanistan, said this... These people should not be given a platform. They are vile, they are disgusting, they are barbaric. And when we left Afghanistan after our rescue mission, where soldiers from the 1st Battalion uh, were there, they hung someone out of a helicopter by their neck uh, to, to scare, to uh, show a force to the people af of Afghanistan. They should not be given airtime here, and it was a, a misstep by the Islamic Federation Council. So, Caroline, why the hell did they want to do it? Their justification, Paul, publicly, and, and this is not just some fringe group, by the way, it's the peak body representing Muslims in the country. The organisers' justification is that they wanted to have a conversation with the members of government, the, the leadership of Afghanistan, to see if they could get assurances about uh, respecting the rights of minorities and women. Paul, what an absolute joke. They think they can fix the situation on an hour long or however long it was going to be Zoom call when women who are marching for their rights right now in Afghanistan are being whipped, they are being electrocuted with batons, they're being killed in the country. I mean, this is... Uh, this is a terrorist organisation, basically. It is a jihadi regime that has no respect for the rights of uh, women or other minorities uh, or, or minorities in the country. I mean, was Islamic State, Al-Qaeda and Hamas unavailable for this call? Why was it organised in the first place? It's not just good enough that it was cancelled swiftly. Good that it was. We need to ask questions about how this how this peak body ever thought it was acceptable to hold this event in the first place. Luke, of course, there'll be people out there saying, oh, giant media beat up, you know, good old-fashioned, you know, the Australian whi whipping things up, blah, blah, blah. Reality yeah. is, I love how the pub test is always invoked for lots of different things. This does not pass that at all to say, why would you platform them within weeks of taking yeah. out the country so brutally? Look, everything Caroline just said, I, I totally agree with. But look, you've got to ask yourself, is this clickbait? I mean, when you talk about the Australian Muslim community, I doubt very much it's the moderate Australian Muslim community that wanted anything to do with these bastards. Uh, so so exactly who is it that is reaching out to the Taliban and who is the, and, and what platform is the Taliban eventually looking for? As I say, i got a funny feeling the Oz is doing a little bit of clickbait here. I doubt very, very much one member of the moderate Muslim community of Australia would want anything to do with the Taliban. Absolutely. But this is who the gets, peak but who body gets that the face to face them. meetings with the premiers? This, That's this the is thing. their representatives. Yeah, so, this... I mean, I agree, Luke. I, I don't think that the average Muslim at home would agree with, with this. They've, a lot of people have escaped from these types of places because of the persecution exactly. that they yeah. face there. But this is the peak body representing them. So, I think they have a right to be angry at these people who are supposed to right. represent their interests. Dave Chappelle is an amazing comedian, uh, but one of the joys of being highly talented and also ridiculously wealthy is they can't cancel you. Even if they do successfully cancel you, you get to roam around your giant house for the rest of your life. No penalty will be paid as opposed to those who, of course, get cut off at the knees. Now, he has had a series of specials on Netflix and he has returned multiple times to... Uh, observations, comments, deeper thoughts, and sometimes cheap shots at the trans community. Now, in the final of his uh, uh, specials, and if you view them as an artistic work and multiple work and waves, his central thesis, and not to ruin the punchline, but it's been around for a couple of weeks, is that if there is a population of people in the United States who are being punched down on, it is always the African-American population, not 
an African-American comedian punching down on the trans community. This, of course, does not wash with the modern woke brigade and even people who work for Netflix claim they're going to walk out in protest. But the content provider has turned around and said, no, this is this is part of it. He's an artist. He's allowed to paint whatever he wants. We can then go and equally fund somebody who pushes it back in the other direction. Luke, isn't that the point? Which is, if it was just exclusively one tone of something, well, then you That's start exactly. to say, well, hang on. But if you give equal footing to somebody who's going to push back, and they've given plenty of uh, 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 performers like Hannah Gatsby and the rest a chance to give a, a very different perspective on LGBT issues. <laughs> That's exactly what I was about to say. I mean, Dave Chappelle has a crack at everybody, has an absolute crack at everybody, and he'd be happy for you to have a crack at him. Now, I, I read that he supports J.K. Rowling, and she said something outrageous. Uh, it was, it's women who menstruate. That, what? What a, yeah. what a terrible thing for J.K. Rowling to say. I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculous. If Dave Chappelle gives it out equally, I reckon, to everybody. And if they're really concerned about upsetting people, go and have a look at Eddie Murphy's Delirious. Have you seen that? Have a look at that and then come back to me and say, Dave Chappelle's outrageous. I, I am yeah, perpetually Paul, we, we amazed how he was not he how he was not cancelled after Roar and Delirious, which, of course, very how, of their time. Uh, 